there are two keys provided with each tabulator. The key with the plastic around it opens all of the locks associated with the black bin. The metal key opens the tabulator itself. Prior to the start of the election, the auxiliary bin on the left side of the machine should be unlocked. And it should be left in the unlocked position for the entire time voting uh, is going on. In the morning, prepare the tabulator uh, for voting by printing a zero tape. Unlock the front of the tabulator and remove the top of the area where the tape is. Slide the tabulator out and turn it on. At this point, it will run through a quick pre-testing, and then the zero tape should start to print out automatically. Once the first zero tape has completed, print two more copies by pressing the yes button on the front of the tabulator. Once the third copy has printed, you may press no for need another copy, no. And now you are ready to start allowing ballots to proceed through the tabulator. The tabulator will now stay in that position um, for the rest of the day unless uh, the same front compartment needs to be opened so that the tabulator can be gently pulled out in order to remove any jams. At the end of the night, the auxiliary bin should be opened and any ballots found inside should be run, should be inspected to make certain the voter's intent can be determined and any ballots which it is determined can be run through the tabulator should be. Unlock the auxiliary bin down here. Remove any ballots. <clears throat> Make sure the compartment is empty. And then follow the procedures in order to run those ballots through the tabulator. At the end of the evening, after all ballots from the auxiliary bin have been processed, it's time to put in the ender card. Usually, that flap would already have been down from processing ballots from the auxiliary bin. Place the ender card into the tabulator, press and hold yes and no, and press it in. You should, make, you should make sure that the tabulator cover is already open when you do that because the machine is going to immediately start printing the first copy. Once you have your first copy of the results, that copy will be attached to the zero report from the morning. Remove that copy and attach it with your moderator's return. Go ahead and print additional copies by pressing the Yes button. You are also going to need to empty ballots from the rear of the ballot bin 
and also count any write-in ballots. Both of them can be, both write-ins and standard ballots are accessed from the same door. Unlock the door. Regular ballots will be in the left compartment and write-in ballots will be in the right-hand compartment. Remember, right compartment for write-in ballots. Once you are certain that all compartments are empty, you may close the, the back of the ballot bin.